Right, so question three, uh, the higher level paper, Junior Cert Maths 2023. Uh, looks like an area and volume question. So the students in transition year mini company make and sell candles. Uh, they buy a rectangular uh, block of wax measuring these sizes. And then the first question is work out the volume of the block. Okay, so they've given you the three sizes. So you just need to work out. So that can be 45. This one here can be uh, 35. And this one can be 16. So volume is 45 by 35 by 16. So crank that into your calculator quickly. Uh, 45, 35, 16. Um, and that's going to be centimeters cubed. Okay. All right, so part B. The students are going to use this wax to make candles in the shape of cylinders. Each candle will have a radius of R and a height of nine. Okay, so that's nine there between here and here. And the radius is there. Uh, work out the, the volume of each candle in terms of R and pi. Okay, so it's a cylinder. They've mentioned that word. So you go to your log tables if you don't remember it, and there you go. That's the one we need to work with. V is equal to pi r squared h. So first thing I'll do is I'll write that down. So V is equal to pi r squared h. I know that h is 9. So <clears throat> the answer for the moment is 9 pi r squared. I can't do any more with it because I don't know what R is. As soon as I find out R, I can actually calculate it, but right now I cannot. So that's the answer for part B. Uh, you'll see here it says in terms of R and pi, and that's what I've done. All right, so the third part, uh, part C. The students make 100 candles <coughs> from the ball of wax. Uh, in making the candles, 10% of the wax in the block is wasted. So if I go back up and get that number, so 25200. Just write that down. So 25200, subtract 2520, 10% of it. So that's what we need to work out. Use this information to uh, work out the value of R, the radius of each candle. Okay, now this formula here is the volume of each candle. So I'm going to have a formula here, 100 outside of 9 pi r squared. So that's what I'm working towards. Uh, so let's work that out. 2, 5, 2, 0. So that's 80. Um, So a six now is that right? Yeah. Okay. So that's the number uh, after I take the waste out of the block. So I've got an equation then that is equals uh one hundred outside of nine pi r squared. So we need to get r by itself. So the first thing we can do, I'll just flip the order of these around now. Six, eight, zero. Uh, so, 100 by 9 is 900 pi r squared uh, is equal to 
the same number. So now pi I can put into my calculator. So I'm going to do that. So I've got 900 multiplied by shift in this calculator pi. And I can turn that into a number if I want. So that's going to be 2827.4.43 R squared equals 22680. Now I need to get R squared by itself. So I'm going to divide that number. Uh, so I'm going to divide this number by that number. So 22 six eight zero divided by my answer which is two eight two seven okay so i get eight so r squared is equal to eight point zero two one four right and now to get r i need to get the square root of that so i need the square root of my previous answer which is two point and that's my answer for r sorry for one decimal place so r is equal to uh, 2.8 and that should be centimeters okay so that's my answer for that part and that's it for question three